Well, my first guest on this show and for this year is Mr. William Sumpus. He is the CEO of a company called T3 Motion Incorporated. Their stock symbol is TTTM. Uh, Bill, welcome back to the program. Don, thank you very much. Great to be your first guest of 2014. Yeah, we're pretty happy about that, too. Welcome. Now, T3 Motion, you describe the company as someone that designs and manufactures electric stand-up vehicles. Give us a general overview, if you would. So we're eight years old. We trade under the ticker TTTM on the old TC Bulletin Board Exchange. Uh, we uh, build electric stand-up vehicle technology, the premier manufacturer, really the inventor of ESV three-wheel technology for the law enforcement and security market primarily around the world. So our vehicles are deployed in more than 30 countries. They're in use at the Pentagon, the CIA. They're in use at governments and law enforcement all over the country. We've got 50 in the subways of New York. You'll find us in major retail centers for uh, security operations with, with operations such as Target. Um, streets of Dallas are patrolled by the Dallas PD on mm -hmm. our vehicles. So uh, whether it's a security environment in a private industry or whether it be law enforcement or government, we build the number one electric vehicle for those markets. Well, now, Bill, you mentioned the company's been around for about eight years, but it's had uh, a, rec a track record of difficulty in the past. Uh, you recently took over as CEO. What was the state of the company uh, when you took over? Well, you know, it's funny how I got this seat. Uh, I had made an investment in the company, as I'd mentioned, for about $500,000 in the open market, paying more than a dollar a share in 2012 for the stock. And again, the stock had traded as high as $10 a share. So I never really looked at the financial condition of the company when I began invest investing in it. As I got into the company and got onto the board and started getting some insight into the way the company was run, I mean, it was weak. I mean, we were top heavy, we were engineering heavy, sales performance wasn't there. And I found just one problem after another. Throughout the supply chain, we had problems. Throughout manufacturing and procurement and, and you know, in every single way as far as the operations of the company. So we were losing five and a quarter, excuse me, six and a quarter million dollars a year in 2012. We were losing more than $520,000 a month. So when I came into the company, we had $100,000 in the bank. I had a payroll of $150,000 due the following week and no cash to pay it. And I came in and said, okay, guys, thanks very much. Step aside, and I'm going to fix it. So that was basically what I, what I walked into here. Since I got into office, I mean, I have restructured and rebuilt everything, you know, whether it be the, the contracts the company's been involved in or, or the way the company's managed. Well, let's talk about the detail of that, because quite frankly, you took over as CEO about nine months ago. It has been a dramatic turnaround. Now, give us some details. Yeah, we're a much different operation than we were ever in the past. So... Uh, the company traditionally did about $5 million a year in sales. As I mentioned, we were burning $520,000 a month in cash. And that's cash losses on top of whatever revenue and margin we generated. Um, we were engineering top heavy, as I mentioned. We were paying, uh, some of the expenditures were just completely out of line. We had building rents that we were paying $35,000 for in a 35,000 square foot building that had a market value of $12,500 a month in the current market conditions. I renegotiated the lease. Our accounting department was costing us a quarter of a million dollars a quarter to run the accounting department. That didn't include the public auditors, KPMJ, that does all of our public statements and auditing at the end of the quarters and years. So whether it be the supply chain that we were paying 30 to 40 percent more in all of our materials and components, whether it be the sales department that had commissioned salespeople with base salaries and base compensation that have a hundred to hundred twenty five thousand dollars a year that weren't producing you know or, or whether it was just general accounting staff uh, you know the company was just mismanaged and didn't have the leadership that it needed from the top to help it you know refine the operations in a way that it could ever get to profitability well it seems like the accountants were probably costing you a lot of money keeping track of all the money you were losing now you've also uh, had quite a hand in generating new sales Sure. So, you know, as, as I mentioned, uh, you know, the company's sales team didn't perform. So we didn't even have an internal marketing department. We had outside sales reps that were salaried reps that worked out of their houses and things around the country. And they did close some pretty good deals when, when they had leads, whatever, but there was no new business generation for a long time in the company. So the first thing I did was I got rid of that team, brought in a new team, and instead of having an outside team, I brought a marketing department inside. I've got four to six people on the phone eight hours a day calling law enforcement agencies, airports, government offices, and things of that nature all over the world trying to build new relationships and build new sales channels for the product. Um, as an example here, we're leading into the, fir the first quarter here, a uh, little uh, pre-announcement here. We've just got a contract for about $600,000 for the passion passenger rail 
Association out of South Africa, out of Johannesburg. Largest order that the company has had in more than two years, $600,000. We've got a total of 64 vehicles going into South Africa. Under that one order alone, that'll protect all the rail stations and, and they'll be used by all the security officers down there for passenger and, and facility security. Um, we've also got a significant amount of other new business coming in out of large organizations all over the world. So our international sales today, when I got here, let me back up here. When I got here, international sales accounted for about 10 to 20% of our sales. As we lead into 2014, I've got the international channel built so much already that we will lead U.S. sales with national sales. So I expect that as we get into 2014 that our national sales will probably be double what we generate in North America. You know, people love the Made in America product. They made, they love the fact that we've got a great brand and a great product that's very reliable, you know, and, and kind of one of a kind out in the market. So we've established new ground. We're building new vehicle models. Uh, we've got new distribution channels we're going into. We're moving into uh, handicapped, uh, you know, vehicles. We're moving into a near-field ambulance for sporting events and um, emergency medical services uh, and theme parks and things of that nature. We've also got a personal vehicle that we announced just recently about six months ago, the Vision Vehicle. We're having great success with that in airport security. You've got airports like John Wayne Airport here, right here in uh, Orange County, California, Newport Beach, now patrolling inside their terminal buildings. We have a Segway trade-in program. We took their Segways in trade, took them right out of the terminals, leaned them up in the warehouse instead of the walls that they used to lean them up against, and put our vehicles in the terminals at John Wayne Airport. San Diego Airport Security, same thing. So we've got a lot of new channels, we've got new products coming out, and sales are just going through the roof right now. Well, Bill, I know that the company has uh, more than uh, 5,000 vehicles that have been deployed in, in uh, something like 30 countries or so. Uh, who are some of your better known customers? So we sell vehicles, as I would mentioned earlier, to law enforcement and government agencies all over the world. So whether you're at the Pentagon, the FBI uses them, the CIA, the New York Police Department, LA Police Department, Dallas Police Department, San Francisco, and Miami it patrols uh, the Grove in downtown Miami with our vehicles. So we've got government, uh, commercial uh, security as well as private uh, security and, and uh, law enforcement throughout the country and around the world using new products. Well, what can we expect from the company going forward uh, here in 2014, Bill? So what we've done is we basically put parts uh, in all of our customers' hands. We've got every single customer we have uh, back in service. We've got new developments going on for new vehicles. And as we brought back service and started supporting the customers that we had, our sales are going through the roof. Right. We've had such a great product, and we've had such a great, you know, program globally in terms of our distribution and, and the markets that, that we're seen in and the visibility of the product that as we get into 2014, sales right now in the first quarter are up probably two to 300 percent over any other previous quarter yeah. in the company's history. As a matter of fact, in Q1 today, I've got quotes out today for more than 500 vehicles in the first quarter, which is basically our typical annual volume that the company has done over the past three to four years. So as we're building confidence in the product and in the company, you know, and reestablishing relationships with customers and treating customers with, you know, putting customers first, you know, in the way that they get their service and their parts and the way that we deliver, you know, what they need from us. I mean, they're coming back in groves. T3 Motion Incorporated, TTTM is their stock symbol. Bill, why is this a good time right now to take a closer look at the company? Today we trade at a dime. So when you look at, in terms of the value and where we are as a company, we were trading at $10 when we were losing $8 million a year. Today we're on the verge of profitability. We've got sales that are going through the roof in the fourth quarter. Sales in the, in the first quarter here are probably 500% higher than they've ever been in any single quarter in the past. You know, we will, by my expectations, deliver numbers here in the first quarter for 2014 that will be record-breaking numbers for the company. And again, I fully and personally expect that the company will achieve profitability this quarter. So, you know, I've always made money in the market by buying stocks when they're depressed. And there's never been a more depressed stock right now in the market or a better opportunity to buy a stock than there is with TTTM. T3 Motion Incorporated. TTTM is their stock symbol. Uh, Bill, I'm looking forward as we continue to cover your company during the first quarter. Uh, more updates from you. This is an exciting story. Thanks so much for joining us on the show. Don, thank you again for having me, sir.